Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Corrosion Cold Winter Waiting Enhanced Edition. So let's continue where we last left off, shall we? We are, uh, oh god, where was I last, where, where was I last left off? Ugh, crap. Oh, control room. Yep. Cool. I have about everything. But, um, let me go back to that, that contamination room. I know where to go. It's just, um, briefing room. I know where that's at. I just want to go back in here. Was there anything in here? Oh, this house. Medical corridor. That's not where I need to go. All right. I guess that was nothing. Main office. Briefing room. This is where I need to go. Another code? Hmm. Zero zero nine seven. Let's try that. See what happens. Nope, that wasn't it. All right, so that one, that code door was thirty one oh three for that door over there outside here, but uh. No, that's a map. I don't need that. But, just for funsies, let's try 1952. Yep, that didn't work either. I'm not surprised. I that, I knew I knew this is not going to be easy. Um Hmm. Hmm. Do I have any more notes? No, that's it. Oh, Skyler's notes. Okay, that's nothing I need. Um, Well, this is where I need to be, but I'm missing something. I don't know what to do, so uh, let me save. Um, where's my last save? Oh. All right, let's let's stop and think. What what could I possibly be be missing right now? Where does this door go to? Hmm, nothing. Door to unknown. Ooh, that sounds scary. Oh, the beginning. I'm back in the beginning. Door to unknown. Can't go back. Can't go outside because that door is blocked. Ventilations. 
ventilations don't work without I cut them off in order to get to the other area. Obviously. Um Hmm. Look around the roof for a little bit. Hmm. Man, this area is huge. All right, so where's the cells? Okay, so I was just there. Okay, I was just there in the basement corridor. Mm-hmm. Three to the elevator, which leads to four, and five, and then that room, and then I went down here. Wait, did I go in the processing room? Processing storeroom. 12 is furnace. I don't think I've been in the furnace room. But I've been in the cell block, and the cell blocks aren't open. Um, Where else have I been? I have not been in the drainage room or the initiation room or the sub-level corridor. Never been there. Um, haven't been to the prep room. I have not been to any kitchen area. And I have not been to anyone's bedroom, so... Highly unlikely. Um, okay, so I've been there. I think I've been there. I've been here for sure. I've been to the cells, but they're not open. Only the cell blocks open, but not the cells. Um. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check. Can't check that. Let's check this. Okay. All righty. Let's go to this other computer. Oh, it just shows the cameras. This is the only camera ki kitchen store feed. I mean, kitchen storeroom. Sorry, kitchen store feed. <laughs> okay. Come over here. Hmm. This is a little tough. Let me save my game. All right, um, I guess we're going to explore a little more. I think. No instance, no medical records. But details, though. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Look around the partition. Furnace room's locked.
plastic tubing one inch wide. I, s I swear I could use this tubing, but I can't figure out for the life of me what to do with it. I know, I know this is going to be important. I know for sure. But I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. A desk. Maybe this vice? Oh! Okay. Okay, we're gonna need two vices then. Hmm. Um, we're gonna need something there. I don't know what. Let me check my stuff. Hmm. Maybe the leg? No. Maybe a key? Mayhole key? I mean, anything's possible. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't even know anymore. Get me out of here. This place is creepy. Work area showers. Oh, why is this door so dark? I sense foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. I don't. I'm not a fan of that. Spooky. Ooh. Oh god, the cells. Do these cells have mental patients? I hope not. I hope for the love of god that they're empty. Okay. Let's go back. Please. Thank you. Alright, let's go over here. Briefing room. There's absolutely no... Wait. No, it can't be 3103. We already used that code, right? Right? What the hell? Okay. From now on, if I have to go to a keypad code, I'm always going to remember 3103. Because apparently it's freaking working on every door in this place. Apparently. Oh, this is a small briefing room. I thought it was going to be, like, huge. This is small. Key card. Good. I got a key card to... Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. The door that said it's foreshadowing is the key card door that I have to go to. No! No! Oh, God. Okay, Monday, 23rd November, 2009. Acquisition, Michael Seiler. Or Skyler, or Seiler. Subject leaves home 9.30 a.m. Gabriel trails, make sure nobody else follows. Subject arrives at Lower East Park Lane, 10 a.m. Subject leaves car, follow directions to hotel. Ramilia tails, make sure nobody follows. Keegan and Zach await subject at hotel. Zach administers a minister's drug. Wait 30 minutes. Leave hotel via back entrance. Gabriel waiting with car approximately 11.30 a.m. Job done. So these people plan... So these people of the names I saw, Keegan, Zach, Romelia, and Gabriel, they've been following this man, Michael. So has Michael been a subject of Scientific victimizing? I don't know. Something weird's going on. And I don't like it. 
I really don't like it right now. I'm really spooked out now. Especially when you have these thoughts in your mind about what's going on and all that. It's... I don't know. I gotta go to the work sh work area showers. God dang it. I am... N I'm... I don't want to go. But I have to, do I? <sighs> damn it. But I still don't understand why... Why these need two vies. I, I don't understand. <sighs> what, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, it's nothing. Wait a minute. Go back. What's the date? 23rd November. Huh. At... Hmm. Wait a minute. Did that one computer say you could do time? No, it wasn't that one, right? It was the it was this one, right? Okay. What was that date again? November, right? So, 11, 23rd, it said the 23rd. And I believe the year was 2000. Oh, it's doing two numbers, so 09. <sighs> what was the time hour? Uh, dang. Uh, well, the, the meeting thing said 9.15, that's when they were planning, so let's try, let's try 9, 8, 9, 9 o'clock maybe? I don't know. Camera? What camera? Oh, so it didn't do it? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I rem I'm remembering these dates now. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it now. What? It's not working? What am I doing wrong? Oh, I'm stupid. The camera's the camera option filling in is supposed you're supposed to write which area, which location in this game. Like the briefing room or the control room or the ventilation room. Oh, okay, I'm dumb. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I know what to do. Let's try 8 a.m. See what happens. Um, I believe briefing room. That's the correct one. File corrupt. Damn, that's not it, is it? Alright. Alright, so 8 a.m. is too early, so let's try 9 a.m. Um, yeah. Oh my god, I almost forgot the date. Dang. Wait, did I already do 9 a.m.? 
Let's try. Well, I'll do it anyway. I'll try it again. Briefing room. That's about briefing, right? Yeah, it should be correct. Okay. All right, let's try 8 a.m. now. Sorry. I think I did 9 a.m. twice without realizing. I feel stupid. Okay. All right. All right, let's try it again. Right. Okay. Before we start today, I just want to say a few words about what has happened. This will be our first acquisition since we lost Sasha, and I know it might be difficult for some of you. Sasha was a valued member of our team and an excellent hunter in many ways, but she let her emotions get the better of her. She let her guard down, and that is something none of us can ever afford to do. This is a dangerous game, we all know that. It requires focus and an absolute, single-minded belief in what we're doing here. Sasha forgot that, and she paid the ultimate price. And it's important to remember that it could happen to any of us. If we're not careful, if we don't trust each other, if we don't support each other, if we're not there for each other. This is not just a group of people united by a single goal. This is a family united by a mission. A mission that saves countless lives. A mission that prevents the takeover of the world by a vicious, malevolent force, the likes of which normal, everyday people cannot possibly imagine. And I know it can get tough. There are but five of us now, and many, many more of them. But that's precisely why we have to stick together, as a team, as a family. We have to support each other, trust one another, because without that support, and without that trust, we are nothing. Nothing but candles in the wind. Nothing but pebbles in the ocean. Useless and ineffective. But together, we are a roaring fire in a breeze. We are a solid rock in a pond. And if we remember that, then we can win. We will win. We will vanquish that evil from every dark corner it inhabits. The Blue Locusts need to know that we are the Red Butterfly, and we will not be stopped. Not now, not ever. They may have taken one of us, but they can never take us all. Not if we remain the close family that I know we are, and always will be. Now, down to business. The plan today is simple. Silar will leave home at 9.30. Gabe? You'll tail him. Make sure he's definitely alone. Romelia, Silar will arrive at Lower East Park Lane at around 10. He'll exit the car and head for the hotel. You'll take over from Gabe at this point. Keegan, Zach, you're waiting in the room today. Silar will knock five times. Let him in. Subdue him. Get him ready for transportation. And Keegan, no rough stuff this time. I know you hate these things, but we can't afford that manager sticking his beak in again, asking questions. Okay? Good. Next, Gabe will pick up Romelia, and then they'll be ready and waiting by the back entrance by 11.30. Put the body in the trunk, and get back here by 12. Everybody clear? Good. Let's go grab this evil SOB before he manages to corrupt any more innocent people. Got an achievement for that police officer. Wow. Just, wow. From that recording, the red butterfly, the blue locust, to the subject Michael, who's apparently evil, and to this weird group of people that have been underground here for some time. I don't know. I mean, this, this is not confusing me. But this is giving me more of a mysterious vibe. Am I missing something else? Hmm.
Okay. Let me save. So far, guys, this has been getting interesting and getting very weird. Oh my, the music got freaked out there. Okay. Hmm. Um. There's gotta be something. Oh, the red butterfly. Okay, I can't upload any images. Um. Hmm. Can I edit anything? No. Oh, maybe I did miss something on the computer. Did I miss anything? Oh, wait, what's this? A search engine? Um, think. What 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 were some key words on that recording? The red butterfly. Oh, nothing. Okay, how about the blue the blue lotus? Was it the blue lotus or the blue locust? I think it was blue locust, I'm sorry. Nothing? <sighs> what was the subject's name? Uh Michael Siler? Is that explain his name? Hold on, let me go back. Michael Seiler. Okay, yes. Let's do that again. Nothing? Oh, okay, um... Think. They say they grabbed Michael at a hotel. Hmm. Where's my map? Hmm. Sorry, got a little stuffy nose. Just a little. <sighs> what road were they on? I forgot. Ninth Street. Is there a tenth street? Cause I did hear them say something about Thirteenth Street. Tenth Street. There it is. That's what that's what they said they were gonna kidnap him there. Huh. At a hotel though, that's the thing. Hmm. Yeah, they said, hold, so he was staying at a hotel. What else? Oh, the, I could have sworn there was another street they said on the recording, and I forgot. I was so distracted by every little detail on that recording. From the blue blue load, locust. I mean, yeah, blue locust to the red butterfly. Huh. Oh. Hold on. I need to. I need to re listen to that recording again because I. I think I missed something. Oh, little frame right there. That was weird. Okay, let's do this again. Twenty third. I'm sorry. I can't believe I forgot. Okay, and then re 
briefing room. File corrupted? Oh no, so it's, it only works one time? Oh man. Dang it. It's, it's, it's only, it only works one time. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. What was the name of that hotel? <sighs> Damn it. All right, just think. Think. Just think, bring the map out, something will familiarize you. Okay, so we know that Michael was staying at a hotel. It said, wait a minute, the recording said there were, one of the members was driving on 10th Avenue. So that means it's either hotel, 10th Avenue, ho no, 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 they were, they were getting on, Wait, so it's either got to be Hotel Lakeside Drive or let's try Hotel Lakeside Drive. Uh, at least I tried. Okay, um... Wait, so they were trying to get through 10th Avenue. So that means it can't be Lakeview Drive. And it can't be Lakeview, Lakeview Road. So that means the hotel's got to be around here. Let's try um, Hotel Lois Lane. Was it Lane? Aw, oh, jeez, nothing. I think it was Lane, right? All right. Let's try Hotel Fargo Lane. See what happens. We got a hit. We got a freaking hit. Okay. One result. St. James Hotel, 246 Fargo Lane, The City. Telephone number 555-0654. Manager Richard Hotel Man Hardwick. Okay, let's look up Richard Hotel Man Hardwick. See if we get anything. Oh. Okay. Hotel Man. Re reporting on the random and weird things only... Only an hotel manager will ever see. Hmm. Hi. Oh, wait. Yeah, so far. 29th of January, 2010. That was a year ago. After, uh... The incident? Involving Michael, I believe? 10, 15 a.m. Hi, all. Well, the first month of the New Year's... New Year is almost over. So time for a little update, I think. Just had to give... Room 15, a gutting after some kind of weird bachelor party. God knows what what they were doing in there. In fact, God probably doesn't doesn't know. He probably doesn't even want to know. Suffice to say, I'm glad I'm the manager and not the cleaner. Happy face. Room 7 remains a reclusive shut in apparent. He's been in there about... I mean, he's been here about three weeks now. Always has... Always has the do not disturb sign hanging on the door and never seems to put in an appearance. I don't think I've seen him since he checked in, but not my place to ask questions, is it? If he wants to sit in his room all day, every day staring at the walls, who am I going to say anything? As long as he pays, it's all good. Happy face. Speaking of paying, though, I have not seen anything recently of the ever so slightly weird people who rented out room one last year. I think the last time I saw any of them was November last year. 
bit of a problem actually since they owe us about two months worth of rent. I can't even get in touch with any of them either. The number they gave me just goes to a voicemail and nobody ever replies. I think I'll give them another week. Page one of page page one of two of this post. To show themselves before I take back the room. Well, that's about it for this week. Got a big party booked in for next week. Some kind of convention? Should be should be interesting. We'll report anything I mean we'll report back anything any weird happenings. Until then dot 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 Alright. Oh, this is gonna go back now. Room one of seventh February two thousand nine one fifty seven PM Hello my weird guest loving fans face. Done a nice bit of business today. Rented out room one on a long-term lease. Starts right away this week and ends, well, there is no end in sight. Could go on for months, years even. Bit weird to rent out a room in this fashion, but a steady income stream never goes unappreciative. Especially in this fin financial climate, they seem a bit of a strange bunch. Well, actually, I only saw two of them, but I got the impression that there were more. There were more of them in their little group, shall we say? The two that I met seemed very straight talking. Matter of fact, and without a hint of humor, I hope they don't manage to find this blog. Somehow, I don't think they'll. I think. Ugh. Somehow, I don't think they'll get it. Wink face. Anyway. Money's money at the end of the day, so providing I don't need to call the cops for any reason, they can rent out the room at, for as long as they want and do what and do what they want in there. I don't ask. Happy face. Ah, uh, 2009 could be a good year if such trends continue. Toodles for now. What's that? Toodles. <laughs> room one again. 19th of July, 2009. 3.47 p.m. Well, no. Oh, oh, I already said that. Well, I know you guys like the weird and strange ones best, so here we go with a little update on the slightly creepy people that rented out room one long term a few months ago. I've now discovered that there are in fact six of them in total. Three guys and two girls and an extra guy who I've not seen yet. Is this extra guy Michael? Being in my privileged manager's position, I am able to overhear and observe quite a lot of what goes on around here. So I've ascertained thus far that the three guys are called Keegan, Zach, and Gabriel, and the two girls are Sasha and Ramelia. Now there's only five since Sasha's dead. The mysterious sixth member of the group is referred to as Donald. Oh my god. It's Donald Trump! I'm just kidding. And apparently, it seems the rest of the group hold him in quite high regard. They talk about him like he's some kind of great leader or something. Oh my god. It really is Donald Trump, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Just kidding. Weird. Maybe they're all in some kind of cult. And they come and go at all hours as well. There's no real consistency to it at all. Sometimes it's two of the guys. Sometimes just one. Sometimes the two girls. Sometimes a guy and a girl. Once it was all five of them. They, page two of two of this post, they all just showed up, filed into the room, and didn't emerge for about three hours. Sometimes they show up with new people that I, I only ever see once. And the really strange thing about that is that they never seem to like these new people. And the even stranger and even more totally weird thing is that I ever heard them referring to these randoms as demons or evil scum. Or once I heard the Kiki guy say, He'll be sorry he ever messed with the red butterfly. I mean, the red butterfly? What's that? 
God knows what they're getting up to in there. Maybe it's a cult of some kind, as I say. Or maybe they're just part of an X-Files fan club? I just don't know. If I was anything less than a decent man, I, I'd have installed cameras by now. Wink face. But obviously, that does actually go against my principles. So sorry, guys. I won't be uploading any videos for you. Happy face. Anyway, they're still paying on time, and they're not cost... I mean, and they have... They've not caused any actual trouble so far. So they can do what they like, as far as I'm concerned. We're still living in a free society. For now. Weak face. Alright, last but not least. Room 1 Saga continues. 2nd of October, 2009. 6.19pm. Ooh, now there's three pages of this. Good evening, my awesome hotel-loving fanlings. And what delights does Mr. Hotel Man have for you today? Well, sit back, grab a beer, and some popcorn, because I have more news on the strange and freaky happenings of Room 1 and its inhabitants. Poor Sasha continues to be the butt of the... Ah, poor Sasha continues to be the butt of jokes amongst the others, especially Romilia, who seems to be the ringleader in this little anti-Sasha club. Gabriel laughs along with Romilia. Keegan doesn't really care about anything other than the random people they bring. And Zach actually defends, defends Sasha a lot. Aww, me thinks someone has a little crush on someone else. Weak face. So what's weird about all that, you ask? Well, you're right. There's nothing weird about bullying within a group. But there is something weird when Romilia starts idly chatting to Gabriel about Sasha's code and how she always forgets it and, and how can she be so stupid to forget it when it's the International Day of Love. What code, you ask? Well, my friends, I'm afraid I have no idea. Page two of three of this post. But it's, obvious, but it's obviously important because the story of the code doesn't end there. Overheard this little nugget while Vermilia and Gabriel were hanging around the vending machine waiting for others to arrive with one of their randoms. Apparently there was some kind of incident which involved Vermilia and Sasha and someone else. Someone who managed to steal a key card and make use of the aforementioned code. I couldn't make out everything but it happened at 315? And there was a mention of a cell where the incident took place, but the really weird and scary thing was what I overheard last before the others arrived. Are you ready for this? I heard Amelia say, anyway, number 83 killed itself a couple of days later. So maybe she isn't as stupid as she looks. Number 83 killed him, killed itself? What? Creepy and more than a little freaky. Happy face. I mean, who are these people? At first, they were just slightly eccentric, but now I'm actually starting to get a little concerned. And you know me, nothing really phases me. I see all sorts, as you know. So if I start to get freaked out, you know something is wrong. Page 3 of 3. Anyway, what can I do? I guess I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Makes good reading though, doesn't it? And that's what you all want. And I don't like to disappoint. Long live the weirdness. Smiley face. Until next time, live weird and prosper. And I think that's it. Yeah, it looks... Huh. Alright. I guess I'm done. Let me save. Alright guys, we already got enough. That was weird. For a second there, I thought my game was going to crash. That scared me so hard. Um... Alright, um...
yeah, I'm going to end my video here. This, wow, there's been a lot of interesting things going on here, and it's very weird. Alright, if you like this video, please give this video a like. Comment on this video on how you like the game so far. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming videos like these. Alright, this has been Gamer. Peace out, and I'll definitely see you on the next episode of Corrosion Cold Winter Waiting Enhanced Edition. Alright, bye everyone!